Well, welcome folks to this, which is now our ninth edition of Mo Player Your Cards Right, our competition of fans against players run in conjunction with the Montrose Community Trust. And tonight, our two contestants are for the fans, Mark Ray, and for the players, Mr. Sean Dillon. Lovely to see you both. You too, Ross. You too, Dillon. Lovely to see you, Mark. Ross, a pleasure as always. Always a pleasure, pal. Uh, I'm going to start by asking lads how uh, lockdown two is going for the both of you. So I'll start with you, Mark. How's, uh, how's things for you at the moment? Uh, it's not too bad for me. Uh, I work from home normally anyway, so it's uh, not much of a change of routine apart from the fact that the wife and kids are home. Uh, but lockdown one, total cliche, uh, had my 40th birthday. Uh, bought a dog, grew my hair, got fat, drank too much. Uh, so yeah, total cliche, uh, watching Tiger King and all that kind of stuff. But second time around, trying to live a bit more normal where we can. But yeah, looking forward to it being over. Well, happy belated 40th from, from everyone at the club. Thank you. I had to cancel hospitality at Montrose. I had 30 people booked into hospitality and had to cancel that. So yeah, a bit gutted by that. Well, you just make sure you sell it. My attitude is that if you've had a birthday during lockdown, they just don't count. So you're basically ah, the age you were before. Yeah, and if I get a second one in lockdown, I'll be going into negative. So yeah, it's all, it's all good. <laughs> and how about yourself, Sean? How's, uh, how's life treating you at the moment, mate? Very well, buddy. Yeah, all good. Um, can't do any coaching. And uh, there's, a, there's a couple of things that are probably bugging me a little bit that I can't get out and deal with. Um, yeah, listen, enjoying a pal. The snow was was brilliant last week. I know people give now about the weather and all that, but uh, no, we love the snow. Shane, and Finn, and, and Michelle, and uh, all good, buddy. Can't complain. Just just getting on with things. Of me, and, me and the boys are at home. Um, Michelle is in in the school nine till three, so me and the boys are at home doing a bit of homeschooling. They're teaching me a few things and keeping me busy and trying to get out and do a bit of training and. Just getting on with things, buddy. Yeah, keep smiling. Keep hoping for the best. Nothing else for it, pal. I do worry about what it is you're actually teaching these boys. <laughs> when Michelle's not at home. <laughs> <laughs> I teach them. Uh, they teach me, pal. I already said that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, get the all up because say whatever now and again and help himself out. <laughs> well, look, um, I believe that, Mark, you've got a question that you'd like to ask Sean, so if you want to fire away, Bob. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sean, by Montrose standards, you've had quite an exotic career, you know, uh, youth European championships and European runs, that kind of stuff. You've played in Greece and Poland and Israel and Lithuania and some other countries that I can find in your Wikipedia this afternoon. Uh, I'm just wondering, what's the most grim place you've ever played football? Is it Cowdenbeath, Cumbernauld, Peterhead or Airdrie? <laughs> oh, well... First of all, happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, does it have to be one of those four places? No, no, if there's, if there's somewhere more grim than County kind of Beef, by all means, tell us where that is. Uh, no, nah, listen, I don't want to be disrespectful to any place. <laughs> uh, but yeah, County kind of Beef is interesting, um, especially when you're getting changed in the stand and, uh, and then going down the last, the friendly that we had there not too long ago, or the game that we had. So, um, yeah. I'll, yeah, I've been lucky. I've been around a few places and I've managed to to get about. But uh, yeah, there's a the smaller the smaller dressing rooms can be a bit of a pain. Uh, I like I like actually I've enjoyed playing at Breakin a few times, but the the changing room is just a nightmare. It's just all wrong. Like that's just too tight. And I think COVID wise, you'd probably only fit two or three people in at this stage. Um, but uh, no, it's it's a nice place to be. But yeah, I've played in a few. I think Graham is, I don't like using the word Graham, it's probably a bit over the top. But uh, yeah, we've, we've played abroad a few times and we've had to go through uh, a few different scenarios and situations and yeah, some interesting places. But um, I don't know, what was the list did you say? Peterhead, Cambridge, uh, Cumbernauld, Peterhead, Airdrie. Those are obvious ones that came to my mind. Yeah, Peter Head, you get well looked after Peter Head now, decent enough dressing room and hospitality afterwards. You always get a good meal afterwards. Um, I wasn't impressed with Airdrie the last time, I have to be honest. We went down there recently and we had to go over and get changed in the in the stand, basically, well, in the stand, but below the stand where people usually queue up and get their 
their pies and their drink and stuff. So that was a bit nippy over there. It was a cold day and yeah, there was uh, there was very little uh, to help you along. So there was yeah, that was an idea. I have to say, you know, for them. Um, yeah, we we'll leave it at that. I don't upset anybody. <laughs> Very diplomatic, Sean, I think it says the reality there. Um, to be fair, though, you have given us an insight into what is not very glamorous about football during lockdown. That uh, didn't sound fun. No, it's not. Listen, I, I don't know what the reason for, so I, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to start upsetting people, but um, I'd say Peter Head, uh, we were upstairs, you know, very well looked after. Uh, Cove, very good. Um, you know, uh, four for I would say the same, but East Fife just put us, you know, again, different places have different mentalities and, and different ways of putting putting across to the opposition's team. Um, so it wasn't the most enjoyable uh, prep for going out and playing the game. Whether that was in their heads, I don't know. You'd have to ask somebody, somebody from from Adrie, but um, it certainly added to the team. I feel, I feel if it was Alec Ferguson, it was probably meant, put it that way. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, chap, so we are now on to the main event. Mo player, your card right. And at this point, I introduce my glamorous colleague. So, I am the leader of the pack, which makes me such a lucky jack. These hands, they were made for feeling. So, Brian Petrie, you do the dealing. Here he goes. I was, hoping to see the, I was hoping to see the chain coming all out like that. <laughs> no, pray not. But oh, as you right. can see, he is definitely shuffling these cards, so there is no cheating going on. Um, now, the, the, the chat here, chaps, is you're playing each other, so there's three games. One of you is going to win tonight. But more important, it's fans against players. And currently, the score is 12 points each. So, you can't lose the competition. You can't win the competition. So, I suppose there's no real pressure on you guys. You can just play the game and enjoy it. That's, uh, that's all I've got to say. So, if you're, if you're 2 one down, can you make a comeback? <laughs> you can if you're Yano. <laughs> right, okay. So here we go. Uh, three questions. First question is going to go to the, the fans. So, Mark, here you go. This is uh, question number one. Now, we all know that Sean is a goal machine. So this is probably going to be a tough one. So his last goal for the mole was back in 2019 uh, when he netted the first goal in a 2-1 win over Stranra. But what minute... Did he score? I'll go 34. Okay, Sean. So he's going the 34th minute. How good is the memory, pal? Is it I was, thinking, I was thinking I was thinking about the same, buddy. Uh, I'll go. You got lower or higher? What are you going to go? I would probably go lower. You're going lower. Okay, so the goal was scored. In the 17th minute. Oh, wow. What an early one in the game. So, control of the board is with you, Sean. So, here's your first card. And you've got a six. Now, uh, you can six. keep that or you can change it. It's up to you. What do you reckon? Six. Ah, yeah. We'll go higher. Okay, he's keeping it and he's going higher. So, higher than a six. So, we have got... Oh, a six. None in this game. That's it. Nothing for a pair. Not in this game, pal. Right, okay, Mark. It moves over to you. So your first card is a nine. So you've got a chance to change that if you wish. No, I'll go lower than that. Okay, so we're going lower than a nine. Oh, it's a queen. Quite right, Dillo, back to you. So you've got a six. You can change that if you wish. We'll keep it and go higher, please, buddy. Okay, higher than a six. It's a five. <laughs> Okay, so we're back to you, Mark. You're sitting there with the Queen. Do you want to keep it? Go lower than the Queen. Oh, he's keeping it and he's going lower. You've got a nine. Uh, let's go lower again. Lower than a nine. It's an eight. Keep going. Let's go for the lower again. Going lower than an eight for game number one. Oh, 
points are 10. Oof. Right, Sean, you're back in. It's five. Do you want to keep that or change it? Keep it, buddy. We go higher. And we're going high. Higher than five. It's an ace, which is high. So as long as this isn't an ace. We go. <laughs> we go lower. Go on. Lower than an ace for game number one. It's a job. You're in, Sean. We won the photo. <laughs> so, Sean, take an early lead. One nil. No problem, Mark. You can still win tonight. Two games to go. Sean, this is your question. Are you ready, pal? Yes. Okay. If you take the words Ray, Dylan, Thompson, an all right buddy. What would you, <laughs> you said no course and mate. You can nearly have me there. What would your Scrabble score be? Uh, I'm going to say... Wait, I have Scrabble. You have it, yeah. yeah. I have a guess. Mm, 40. 40. Okay, Mark. Do you think it would be a higher or lower score than 40? I think it'd be higher, but not a lot. Yeah, but we'll go higher. Okay, so the correct score would be 45. So <laughs> you were right, Mark. It wasn't far out. A good, a no decent stab there, had it, Sean? But 45 is the correct answer. So, Mark, you are up first. You've got a five. Do you want to change that? No, we'll keep that. Okay, so higher or lower than a five? Higher. Going higher than a five... Oh, it's a five. Oh, wow. Two, not in this game, unfortunately. Right, Sean. It's another five. Oh, well, there's only that? one. There's only one left now, isn't there? <laughs> no, I don't know. Two <laughs> bats. Well, two <laughs> bats. <laughs> uh, you want to keep it or higher. change it? Yeah, oh, we, you're going to keep go it. Higher. He's going higher. Okay, Six. higher than a five. It's a four. Oh. oh. Okay, <laughs> Mark. We're back to you. So you've got a five. You can keep that or change it. Uh, let's change it this time. Okay, we're changing the five to a nine. Oh, um, we'll go lower than nine. Okay, lower than a nine. Lower than nine, we've got a three. Yep. Yeah, uh, please. Higher than a three. Lower. <laughs> it's a ten. Lower. Lower than a ten for game two. It's a five, he's in. Yes. Well done, buddy. Equalizer. So it's one all. This is it, the decider. See who uh, gets the plaudits at the end of all this. So it's back to you, Mark. You get the third and final question. So, Dillo has made nearly 130 appearances for the mighty Mo. What does nearly mean? It means you're not quite there. It means you don't know exactly how many I've got. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing nothing. All right, that's but you're very, you're very near. You're very near to 130 appearances. But how many of those very nearly 130 appearances were last season? How many appearances did he have last season for them all? Um, I will see. 22. 22. So, Sean, do you think you played more or less than 22 games last season? I, I hope it was more. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say more. Okay. The correct answer was 31. 31 appearances. So, congratulations, Sean. You are oh, the much. first one up. It's a four. You want to keep that? Keep it and go higher, please. Okay, we're going higher than a four. You've got a nine. Lower than a nine, please. Lower than a nine. Lower than a nine. Oh, it's a king. You're okay, getting sacked. You're going to bed you, me. Mark. <laughs> a three. Do you want to keep that or change it? Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay. And we'll go higher. Higher than a three. He's got... A king. Oh, well done, Brian. 
Lower, please. Lower than a king? A two. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eight. Um, go lower. Lower than an eight. Oh, it's a four. This is for the match. Higher. Higher than a four. For a 2-1 win. It's a five! Wow. He's done it! Well done, pal. Thank you. Congratulations, Mark. Well done. How do you feel after that? Ecstatic. I can't believe it. This must be like what <laughs> it's like when you're a player. Well, Sean, how does, does it feel the same as when you lose as a player? Raging, me. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You, you want to win, you win, you win. You win, as Flem said, you win something, you win, you want to win if you're in for the win. You didn't win. <laughs> when, when. That's why I'm raging. <laughs> well, Mark, congratulations. You uh, won 2-1 tonight. So that mm -hmm. means it's currently 14-13 uh, to the fans, which is still very, very close. Um, thank you both again for volunteering to come along tonight uh, to do this for the Community Trust. Mark, I had someone deliver a wee gift to you early on today. Did you did you get it? Did they arrive? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. I've not opened it yet. Uh, right, well, if you want to, to open it for us and uh, let, let the world see what I've gifted you. It is a lockdown Lural. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's the culmination of all my hopes and dreams. Thank you, Ross. Is it cushioned? Yeah. To feel quality? Yeah, it's, I think it might, might, might even be three ply. Well, that's where the furrow right. is going, obviously. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, any great plans for this uh, lockdown rural, Mark? Uh, I think I might keep it, and then if we're going to lock down three, I'll just sell it on the black market. You know how these things escalate in value? It's like that uh, GameStop shares kind of thing. Yeah, I, th I think it's a very sensible decision. I like, I like the fact you're thinking ahead, Mark. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, come definitely on. They're all over. <laughs> well, look, thanks again, chaps. Take care of yourselves, and um, fingers crossed, we'll all see each other at some point this year at Lynx Park. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Thanks for having us. Well done, Pleasure. Mate.